All right, it's 2022 and Tom Ford's already gone nuts with fragrances. We've got three brand new fragrances, all dropped at once, all for Valentine's Day. Female oriented, but I think anyone could wear these. We'll find out. I'm gonna give them a first impression sniff here. We've got, what they call it the Rose Garden Collection. There's Rose de Chine, which is uh, like a Chinese rose. It's extra flowery. It's supposed to be a little smoky, maybe. Give that one a shot. Rose de Malfi. Just supposed to evoke feelings of being off the uh, Amalfi coast there in Italy. So a citrusy rose. Interested in that one for sure. Rose de Russie. And this is supposed to be, you know, it's Russian, it's leather, it's dark. This is the nighttime one. And I kind of love the boxes if I'm being honest, because take a look. They've all got three different shades of pink there for rose. Let's give them a shot here. See what they're like. I'll wear them over the next few days, give you a part two with how long they last, etc, etc. Try Rose de Chine first. Okay, so you open her up. This clear bottle, black cap. Let's, uh, let's give her a spray. So you're obviously hit instantly with flower. The rose, there's like, I think it's like a Chinese peony on top. Peony, I don't, do, do I look like I speak flowers? <laughs> Smoky, uh, you know, this reminds me, if you were to make a rose version of a Ben Fume, like a floral version of that, that's what you get. I actually really like this. More than a Ben Fume, it's that plus a little bit of a little bit of flower that it needs, I think. That's exactly what this reminds me of. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm surprised. Okay. That's Rose de Chine. Cool. Let's try Rose de Malfi. Even lighter. And another little sprayer guy here. Apologies, guys. I'm in desperate need of a haircut. I'm Poppy style isn't very stylish lately. We'll get there. Kind of crappy sprayers. Hmm. I know I said citrusy. This one's much softer. It's powdery. Just a little bit of that fruitiness there. I could get beach vibes from this. Still very floral. Mm, very feminine. I don't like that one as much. Um, that might be more for you, though, if you're a woman. Or a dude, I don't know, who cares? Anyone can wear any of this stuff. Um, okay, last but not least, or maybe least. I always say that. I've got Rose de Russie. Dark pink. I don't know which of these boxes go with which. Good thing I'm filming this. <laughs> I can just check that. Okay, we've got our spray strip here. I was just kidding, I think we have two bundled up. No? Anyways, yeah, this is the darkest of the bunch. This will look gorgeous on the shelf. All that jazz. Oh, wow. I feel like I've walked into like a dive bar, nighttime, There's women wearing perfume, people have leather coats on. Yeah, it's a, little, it's a little spicy, it's a little leathery. Oh, that's good. Definitely a nighttime, colder type scent. So if I were getting, if I were keeping these, who knows, maybe I'll keep one of them. I, I really like that other one, the Rose de Sheen. Sheen, I don't know. But this is good too. I might keep this one. This one's great. Um, if you're gonna sample them, sample those two. You can leave Rose de Malfi. I don't need to smell that again. But you know what, I will try them all. I'll let you know in a part two. So these are my first impressions of the Rose Garden Collection, Tom Ford. Thanks for watching, guys. I promised more women's scents this year. I also promised less Tom Ford, but I don't know what you're gonna do. <laughs> a little bit of both. I got some other fragrances here to sample and show you. Uh, some viewer requests, so if you requested something, I may have it behind me. Stay tuned. Hit subscribe if you want to see more like this. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to 
see me smile, talk about whatever. I really appreciate you guys being here. You take care.